Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Thief. I'm David, your host, and uh, in the last episode we got the ring. And yeah, I'm guessing we're off to see Basso about it. I'm not sure. Uh, this is the chest where I keep all my supplies. I should ready myself before I leave. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, still. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shoke arrows. Barrel releases noxious and soft gas that momentarily incapacitates the targets. Okay, so it doesn't knock them out, but it does uh, give me some time to escape. I actually missed my one choke arrow I shot in the last episode. I was so close. If I shot that arrow correctly, I would have escaped. But no. Oh, well. And fi fire arrows, uh, they do not seem to explode, I think. I think they ignite things instead. So I think uh, there's something called a blast arrow? Question mark? That explodes? I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah. If I find things that I want to keep. Do I have the ring? Uh, it would be interesting to see. Interesting to see. Ah, Cornelius ring. A ring. Retrieve from the corpse of reason. Okay. Uh, we've been having this strange. Right now, the only thing collecting here is dust. We've been having these. How long have I been away? Uh, again, we've been having these strange flashbacks or visions or whatever. Oh well, I'm guessing we're getting some answers in due time, and here's a cutscene. Oh, it's Basil's bird. I like how he keeps the mask up or down, depending on the situation. Head to Black Alley. Good. What? I did not have time to read that. Head to Black Alley? Black Alley? New, object new objective. Meet Basso in Black Alley. Okay. Well, no time to waste. I'm guessing uh, Stool Market is ripe for the picking now that I have rope arrows. So I'll probably either I'll cut the video and do some hunting of of the great loots. Or I'll just fast forward it to, to save you some time. We'll see. Hopefully I won't fall to my death this time. Uh, that has been known to happen. Wow. That's kind of harsh, isn't it? Nothing changes hands in this city without Basil catching wind of it. He says it's a gift. In my line of work, I'm inclined to agree. All right, then. It's time to uh, see what Stone Market has to offer us. I'll see you guys on the other side. What, have, what do we have here? Mr. Montes, Mon, Montonesi. Mr. Montonesi, your work has recently come to my attention. I was hoping to commission from you seven copies of your fine painting, Dandy with a Rose's Head. I would be willing to pay a considerable amount for the pleasure. I hope that, with this gesture of good faith, we can put, uh, put that unfortunate incident at the asylum well into the past. 
just Lord Ambercombe. Hmm. So yeah, this is a painter's house. Do he doesn't have any paintings? Oh, look at this. Ah. First off, unscrew this. Uh, I mean, pick lock. Give me all your loot. Oh man, piece of cake. More letters? Moira release letter. Mr. Montanesi. It is with great delight that we recommend your release from Moira Asylum. Ah. You have shown remarkable pro progress in expressing remorse for the death of your family and can now be considered safe to return to the city. We wish you all the best in your new life. Sincerely, Dr. Huntfield. Ugh. <laughs> So this guy just like killed his family and now he's out? Okay. Oh, Asylum. There was a Asylum level in one of the previous Thieves games that was horrible. A, a, a horror, horror, horror level. Lots of scary stuff. I wonder if, if there's such a level in this game as well. I guess we'll see soon enough. Let's unscrew this. Ah, oh, this wrench has paid for itself. outside our apartment. The rooftops? What was he doing up there? I don't know. I pulled away from the window. If I couldn't see him, he couldn't see me. <laughs> well, that's one way to see it. Let's move on. Oh, someone's coming! Good find. Scheiße! Oh, Was that a button behind that plaque? I think it was. I need to press it. They're moving away. Okay, what's this? It didn't seem to do anything. Oh, how anticlimactic! I'm out of focus. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the uh, <coughs> rooster guy. Missing razor tool. Ah, oh, damn. Need a razor tool. Well, I'll be back. I'll get that painting, but not today. Not today. I see how it is. Look, this thing here. This a button. Okay. Nice. Could there be a safe behind the painting? Time to find out. Indeed. Ah. 
There we go. Floor plan? Earrings? Smuggle smack black furrow. Uh, smoking Silverman, Clock Tower. Yeah, I think we've already been there. Oh, who didn't see me? That's amazing. <laughs> Watch out. I'm the master pickpocketer and hiding shadows kind of guy. I think that's enough thieving. Let's get on with the main story. Okay, Basso, what you got for me? Wait a minute. I haven't been here yet. Could be some loot. What's that? I don't know these streets anymore. They were never kind. You're right. I always thought I'd live and die in the city. It's not this way. One gold coin. Wire cutter tool. Another tool I don't have. Damn. So I need a wire cutter tool and I need a razor tool. Well, let's see what Bass has got to say. Black Alley. Sometimes you need to know your limits. Come on. Someone wants to meet you. <coughs> Why me? Oh, your jolly nature? Your engaging conversation? I don't know. It's the guy you stole the ring for. Oh. You must have impressed him. Who is he? He's Orion. One well, of the guys standing up against the Baron and sticking up for normal people like you and me. Well, me, anyway. <laughs> He speaks a lot of sense. Fucking rarity in this place. Huh. Like a revolutionary. He's down here helping the poor sods who have the gloom. It's nice to see someone putting their money where their mouth is. And, um... Try not to be too, you know... You. <laughs> we need this. Oh, so he seems like a friendly guy helping the, the plague-stricken. And he's got an epic beard, so that's... So. That's just... Dandy, I love this. I love this guy. It's good that you came, Garrett. You're paying, aren't you? <laughs> With what little I have. Yes. Well, you've bought my attention for now, at least. Good. Please. Walk with me. The Baron favors progress over pain. Metal and stone over flesh and blood. And look what has happened. I don't get involved in politics. Ah, yes. Garrett is such an anti-hero. You pride yourself on being a loner. Love it. <sighs> Do you really think you have no stake in this? I can still see your face. It works for me. But for how long? Garrett? Uh, Garrett, I'm slipping! Whoa. Ah! This is your city too? Whoa, that's Erin's <laughs> voice. Whoa, 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 what's happened? Do I have the glue? Uh, strange green ritual? What's happening? What happened? 
You passed out. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nope. Nope. No, you're not. What do you need from me? I require a book. Oh. It's the only one of its kind still known to exist. I'm told it lies hidden somewhere in the House of Blossoms. Sounds like a brothel. <sighs> yep. The brothel is busy day and night with the rich and famous. Discretion is the key. I can do discretion. I don't normally hold the ceiling. But uh, in times like these... Desperate times. Man of politics stealing by proxy. Sounds about right. <laughs> as right as a thief so bitter. for a good cause. I'll get you a book. Ah, I didn't drink. You will be helping to secure a better future for everyone. Well, as long as uh, I get paid. I'll remember that. Oh well. We need to stock up on things as well. We need uh, rope arrows and we need... What do we need? Uh, the wire cutter tool and the razor tool. And we the House of Blossoms. I never went there, but I know someone who did. Erin. Oh, Erin. She's she was a a prostitute, or did she just work there as a servant? That's a good question. Oh, so we're going to Erin's hideout. That's kind of cool.